What is the difference between this household sweeping brush and this Bissell Magic Broom? Let's find out, although I imagine they're probably going to be pretty evenly matched. Hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? I have dragged this out of the shed where it has been for a very long time. I was given it many years ago and I haven't done anything with it. I don't really want it so we'll do the video and then I can get rid of it. It is and if you've been collecting vacuum cleaners for any length of time you will know what these are. They're always a quid at the car boot or being thrown away. It is a Bissell Magic Broom. We have 160 watts of pure amazement and this is basically a little handheld stick vacuum cleaner which has a cable. No, you can't rotate the cord hook so you have to actually take the cable off and off and off think it works, I don't can't remember really. You plug it in and you turn it on. And that's it. That's as simple as it goes. You can take the top handle off, which I shall do now to make it easier, and you can also take oh, I've been on here for a very long time. Ow, my wrist. You can also take off the floor tool, so you have a little hand vac. The suction doesn't seem too bad. If we pop this catch off and open it up, we can see the little motor. There is, quite clean actually, filter that sits actually over the motor, although it's a four and a half, that sits there. So it's one of these jobs. And a dust cup with a little rubber flap inside to stop the masses of dirt that this thing picks up from falling out. This isn't going to be a very long video. The before video. The little floor tool has wheels, although I think that one might be a little bit broken. I don't know if it should pivot up and down. There is a very coarse brush strip at the back, which probably does most of the work. And this is incredibly, incredibly filthy. And then we have this sweeping brush. And we're going to see whether the Bissell Magic Brew works any better. Let me get some dirt down and we'll see if we can pick it up. Okay, here we go. Have a small quantity of detritus. We just put the handle back in and we'll see if we can actually pick any of it up.
Well, it does eventually. The problem is, is that it pushes, it really snow plows badly and that brush makes everything flick. But inside we have a bin full of rubbish and a filter covered in dust. Let's just knock off some of that. There we go. And we'll take off this and we'll see if this gets it any better. Hang on, I need to readjust because I put that down a bit forward. seems to work better like that because it concentrates the suction into that little hole rather than this. Although this probably will get some fluff out, mainly just due to that, that brush. You can hear it now. It's a very rattly little thing. These are very popular with old people. My dearly departed grandmother used to have one of these. I think they were very cheap in the magazines and etc. Although they do still sell a version of it. I'll see if I can if I, if I found a picture by now, it'll be up on the screen. It doesn't say how old this is, but it'll be early 90s, made in Ireland. Irish machine. Now we'll just give the actual brush. A try. And it's moving the dirt around but not really picking it up, I'll be honest. So yes, Abyssal Magic Broom is better than an astral brush. I am a little bit surprised with that. We best clean this up with the electric version of this. And that is literally all there is, I, it, it sounds a little bit dry in the old bearings. I don't know if we can see any sparking. No, it actually runs okay. I might be able to make a fiver out of this. So here is the filth before. It's very scuffed up. See if I can do anything with it. And you might be able to see it a bit cleaner, but for now, anyway, in this short little video, we are done. So, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.